Hey guys, what's going on? It's Martin Ross, and we're going to be doing The Light by Jeremiah and Ty Dolla Sign. So let's get into it. So, The Light uh, by Ty Dolla Sign and um, Jeremiah might sound uh, kind of, uh, you're like, I've heard this song before somewhere, but I've heard that bass. Um, take a look into uh, Mary Jane's, the Mary Jane Girls, um, All Night Long, and uh, Kenny Brook, Rising to the Top. Check those out, because that's, to me, where that, that funky bass line comes from. Um, but I'm going to do this one in E minor, <clears throat> and I'm rolling about 92.32 uh, beats per minute, so about, give or take, 92 beats per minute. Alright, so the first thing we're going to attack is the bass. So the bass, it's very simple. Um, you might want to try it, and I have a hard time doing this, but I go for a swing. You don't want to swing, it's got to be straight. And you gotta catch that one um, lick on an upbeat real quick. So here we go. Alright, so now we're working on the hi-hats. So on the hi-hats, we're going to go with eight notes and then a sixteenth triplet on the beat. Here we go. Alright, so now we're working on the second part of the hi-hats. So the hi-hats is going to follow eighth notes and then um, a sizzle on the upbeat near the fourth bar. Here we go. Let's get that wet snare in there. I'm just using uh, a uh, a drip snare and a drip clap. Um, this is all from uh, my Zor Sound Library. Um, so, guys, please check out my Source Sound Library. Um, this is going to have uh, a lot of these samples in that. Here we go. Okay, so next is going to be the kick. So the kick and the bass should be normally entwined, but in this uh, feel, it's kind of a little different. It's kind of, they're going their own pace, so here we go. So when I was listening to the song, uh, I, I kept hearing this sound. I'm like, okay, I don't know what it is. So it turned out to be, it was the sample from Ken Brooks, uh, Rising at the Top, that glissando that you hear. It's actually the a snippet of the very beginning of that. So I got the sample here. And so in this sample, um, all you're really gonna do is you're gonna just play the sample for eight bars. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna bring in your sample and then, um, you set it to eight bars. And just let it loop. Um, I did the cut in Studio One and then brought it to um, a machine. So we just leave it there. The, the trick though, to make it sound right, is to pitch it down about, I guess, one notch, negative one notch to the left, okay? Okay, so next I'm moving to the keys, and to the keys I got a E minor 7 right there. Then I got a G uh, dominant 7, okay? Gonna go off key to a F sharp minor 7. And then um, I'm gonna throw in something a little bit different though that I hear is that a, set, um, a minor 7, and then I'm gonna go to a diminished uh, G uh, 7, and then back to an E. Here we go. Okay, 
Okay, so next we're going to be working on the bass. And in the bass, we're just going to follow the um, chords um, in their roots, but uh, we're going to add a little bit of funky um, like uh, rhythms in between. Not so much. It's kind of a uh, give or take here. We don't want too much funk, just enough. Here we go. something a little bit different it's gonna kind of have a we're just gonna follow that in the in the um, follow uh, those lines gonna loop those lines over and over and over and over and over all right here we go all right so now that we've done the uh, kind of like the bridge part, we're going to go back to the verse part and we're going to add the synth um, glissando in there. I've got a bar stretch. Um, I'm going to start from the E. Oh, whoops. I'm going to start from this E. And then I got a beat delay behind it. Here we go. And then you get the. All right, so now for the intro, on the intro, we're gonna take our pattern, set it to one bar, and we're gonna cut everything out except for the first beat, and we're gonna copy that first beat four times so we can get the boom, boom, boom sound. And when that's done, you get that kind of that, what we call a vinyl cut, but we're gonna do that digitally, so here we go. All right, all right. So now that we've completed it, this is what the sound, um, this is what the song should sound like when you're done. and current sound library called Source. Please check that out at martinrossmusic.com slash source. You can get all these samples that you hear in here on um, my sound library. So if you like it, please check it out. All the links are in the description. I also, also, also want you guys to check out Dillio T2K's Chemicals. Again, that's in the description. I want to thank you guys so much for watching. So please like, comment, subscribe. Most important, please share. Thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think in the comments. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.